So now let's go to the property number two. So in property number two, we differentiate this equation here, both sides, and then substitute values for x. Unlike in property number one, we actually substitute the value for x directly, right? So here we differentiate both sides and then we substitute the value for x, like 0 or 1 or 2. So let's differentiate both sides. If we differentiate 1 plus x whole to the n, the differentiation of 1 plus x whole to the n is that would be n times 1 plus x to the power n minus 1. And then differentiation of 1 plus x is 1. So times 1. So it's n times 1 plus x raised to 1 n minus 1. So differentiation of the left hand side is n times 1 plus x raised to the power n minus 1. And now let's differentiate the right hand side. The first term is c0. c0 is a constant, right? Because n is a constant and nc0 is 1 and the differentiation of 1 is 0. So this is 0. So in property number 2 we are differentiating both sides. And then the differentiation of C1 times x, right? C1 is a constant and constant times x, right? So if you differentiate x, the differentiation of x is 1. So you get plus C1. And then the differentiation of x square is 2x and this is a constant. So you get 2 times C2 times x. And then the differentiation of x cube is 3x square because the differentiation of x to the n is n times x to the n minus 1. Therefore, the differentiation of x cube will be 3 times x to the raise, x raised to the power 3 minus 1, which is 2. So that is 3x square. So this would be 3 times c3 times x square. And so on. The last term would be the differentiation of x to the n is n times cn times x to the n minus 1. So now this is what you get by differentiating, differentiating both sides with respect to x. Now let's substitute values for x. Let's put x equal to 1. If you put x equal to 1, let's start with the right hand side. So you get c1 plus 2 times c2 because x is 1 plus 3 times c3 plus the next one would be 4 times c4 but that's fine so on plus the last one would be n c n because x is 1 and the left hand side would be n times 1 plus 1 because x equal to 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 2 raised to the power n minus 1 now let's put x equal to minus 1 if you put x equal to minus 1 on the right hand side you get c1 plus 2 times c2 times x equal to minus 1 so 2 times minus 1 is minus 2 so this got to be minus 2 c2 and then if you put x equal to minus 1 here minus 1 squared is plus 1 so you get plus 3 c3 and plus so on if you put x equal to minus 1 you get n c n minus 1 raised to the power n minus 1 and on the left hand side you get 1 minus 1 is 0 so 0 to the power n minus 1 is still 0 0 times n is 0 so you get 0 in here so these are the two equations that you get when you substitute x equal to 1 and x equal to minus 1 so now if you add both of them let's see what you get if you add this and this, c1 plus c1 is 2c1 and 2c2 minus 2c2 is 0 3c3 plus 3c3 is 6c3 
and then the next one you get is here 4c4 right and here you get minus 4c4 because c4 would be x cubed right so that is negative because x equal to minus 1 so you get 4c4 and the next one is 5 5c5 that will be positive so you get 5 plus 5 is 10 you get 10c5 plus so on so this depending upon if it's odd or even this cancel off or they don't cancel off so you don't have to worry about the last uh, coefficient that's fine and if you add the right hand side you get n times 2 to the n minus 1 plus 0 is n times 2 to the n minus 1 so now if you divide both sides with 2 you get c1 plus 3c3 plus 10 by 2 is 5 5c5 plus so on gives this divided by 2 is n times 2 to the n minus 1 by 2 is n times 2 to the n minus 2 because n times 2 to the n minus 1 by 2 if you take the 2 to the numerator it becomes 2 to the uh, 2 to the minus 1 and 2 to the minus 1 times 2 to the n minus 1 is 2 to the n minus 2 so you get n times 2 to the n minus 2 so this is an equation for the binomial coefficients similarly if you subtract this from this what do you get let's see so if you subtract this from this c1 minus c1 is 0 2c2 minus 2c2 is 4c2 plus 3c3 minus 3c3 is 0 and 4c4 minus of minus 4c4 is 8c4 and then similarly you get uh, the the c5 get cancelled off and you get c6 you get 12 c6 because for c6 you get 6 c6 6 minus of minus 6 is 6 plus 6 which is 12 so 12 c6 plus so on if you subtract this from this you get n times 2 to the n minus 1 right so now if you divide both sides with 2 you get or you can divide with 4 because you have 4, 8, 12 and then you get 16 so you can divide with 4 on both sides so then you get C2 plus 2C4 plus 3C6 plus so on on the right hand side you get n times 2 to the n minus 1 by 4 and 4 can be written as 2 square right and when this 2 square goes to the numerator it becomes 2 to the minus 2 so 2 to the n minus 1 times 2 to the minus 2 is 2 to the n minus 1 minus 2 which is 2 to the n minus 3 so this becomes n times 2 to the n minus 3 therefore this equation states that c2 plus 2c4 plus 3c6 so on gives n times 2 to the n minus 3 so this is an equation so these are all obtained from property number two which is we differentiate both sides and then we substitute the values for x we can also substitute x equal to two or x equal to three or whatever so depending upon what you need to prove you can differentiate both sides and substitute those values and then you have to play around you have to subtract or add the equations to get the final equation here